All right, guys. Rock here um, from Island Pond, Vermont. We uh, I did my first ride today, January twenty seventh, two thousand twenty three. I know it's the first ride. Can't believe it. But uh, anyways, I tried to bring you along with it for me. Uh, along with me, it did forty miles. <laughs> um, <laughs> My audio footage sucked. So, well, I'll bring you back. I'll bring you along with me back to my house. We're, we're on the lake right now in Island Pond. We're going to hit the town here, and then we're uh, going to head back. <clears throat> Unfortunately, like I said, my audio sucked. I'm on the 15 Pro S 800. Uh, machine ran great. It did good. Uh, we did yeah, 38 miles. Um, no problems. This thing is for sale. Um, six, uh, I mean, bottom dollar. You know, if somebody came like quickly before I get too attached to this thing, six thousand bucks would take it away. Less than a thousand miles right now, anyways. Uh, uh, yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of sleds out today. It's Friday, so it's to be expected. I didn't see many on the trail actually, so I was pretty happy with that. Took off a little early, not too bad. But uh, yeah, so like I said, get out of town here, head back towards the house. Um, trails weren't too bad. In town's always a little thin, but uh, you'll see uh, you'll see how they are when we get up further. Got a lot of things going on right now, so that's why, unfortunately, I haven't been able to get out. Really, the trail conditions haven't been good anyways. We didn't really get any real snow until maybe a week ago. Well, just past few days, <clears throat> but the trails have been open for about a week, which is very late uh, compared to usual. But it is what it is. You never know when you're snowmobiling. Every year is different. But, uh, but yeah, what I was saying is I got all kinds of projects I'm working on now, I'm trying to figure out what, uh, what I'm, I got a customer's 03, I think it's an 03, it could be an 04, one or the other, uh, Yamaha Kodiak 450. Now that thing, uh, it was smoking a little bit, so it needed a top end job. He bought a high compression Wissico piston for it, so we're going to install that curious to see if it'll give it a little extra oomph very familiar with the Kodiaks um, I've I had a 400 for a long time this is a 450 but basically the same um, and I've drove plenty of 450s to know the power of them so I'm curious on the on that uh, high compression piston if it could give a little more throttle response anyways but uh, you know as you can see you know you, this is like in town conditions they're not bad at all so pretty happy for being uh, the first ride out unfortunately it's I can't believe it's almost a week away from being February and I haven't been out yet but it is what it is uh, what else I got uh, I got that uh, I got that three-wheeler if you guys are following me you know what I mean if not you probably just think I'm rambling but anyways uh, yeah I got that three-wheeler Yamaha, uh, Yamaha Honda Honda Big Red, 1982 Honda Big Red 200 um, E. It's the uh, you know it's the model that doesn't have rear suspension. It's supposed to have front shocks on the forks, but it, this one doesn't. Somebody put you know 110 shot uh, 110 front end on it or something like that. So this thing's stiff as a board. We got uh, we got that. The motor is blown. The frames toast. So what I'm doing. I put a diesel motor in it, just a little cheap Chinese thing because, you know, it's they're they're dirt cheap for you know cheapest diesel motor I've ever seen. It's uh, what was it, 240 bucks I think shipped to, that's included shipping, so very cheap. It's a little 196 cc air cooled single cylinder diesel. No electronics on it at all. So if you want whatever you run it on. If you want to run a headlight, you're either going to have to hook some type of alternator up, or you're going to have to uh, you're going to have to do something. You know, you won't be able to charge your battery, anyways. 
about I'm not worried about that but I am worried about the transmission that I got going in it I tried doing it direct drive I thought I was gonna be able to go uh, it, it did not work too high geared and it was gonna be a one speed anyways what I'm doing and I'm hoping it's gonna work I took the old big red motor so the, this the, the engine transmissions all in one on these things what I'm gonna do is I well I've already done it I've done some of it I took the top end off cylinder cylinder head piston all that out of there got the crankcase brought down I mean I took it right down to the engine cases brought that all down transmission everything's out of it anyways what I'm gonna do I'm cutting the connecting rod I'm gonna put everything back together and uh, I'm going to uh, top that cylinder, uh, well, where your cylinder would go. I'm topping that off so nothing gets in there. And I'm going to run that transmission, the drip, run that in the back of the three-wheeler. That'll be my five-speed transmission. I think it's five-speed. Could be four. Either way, uh, it's got high and low range also. So it's either going to be an eight-speed or a ten-speed. I don't know. Whatever, whatever those are. I've had 185s before, Hondas. And they were four speeds so that's the only reason i'm thinking it might be um and i've had a big red 250 that was a five speed but it didn't have the high well so we'll see what it uh, we'll see how that comes out basically i'm gonna run the uh run the diesel motor on a v-belt pulley for now i want to do something a little different later so there's no slippage um, but i'm gonna run that basically back to where your crankshaft would be or well not crankshaft but your uh, recoil so basically to the magneto run that off of there i'm going to double up the pulley so i get the engine rpm speed that i need because the diesel only puts out i think it's uh 3000 rpms which is less than half of the gas motor so double up on the pulley in the back as far as size wise and I'm thinking it should be okay. It's not a powerful motor, but I think that'll be a, that'll be kind of a cool little rig. Um, we'll see. But anyways, that's uh, uh, what else I got. I got a few different things going on, but oh, of course the Polaris diesel. Oh yeah, I got to do the turbo on that. But what I've decided, I'm not going to turbo the machine that uh that i've been driving i'm rebuilding one with the overbore piston and i'm gonna uh turbo that uh, i don't want to blow it to pieces but we're gonna try it out uh we'll see that way i can compare a stock one to the turboed one too so it'll be interesting but as you can see i mean we don't have a ton of snow but we got enough to make it the riding pleasant um, they're not bad at all this 800 motor I do like it I'm going back and forth from my other stuff to this but it's got some power a lot of people don't like this motor for maybe reliability reasons I don't know but this is a 2015 so I think it might have got rid of all the problems by then. Could be wrong. This is a low mileage one, so. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully this audio is working, by the way. <laughs> but we're just going to go back to the house, like I said. I wanted to bring you along on the ride. I think I had some better. Uh, I might throw some shots in there. Might not have audio, but I could probably do that. And then, uh, and we'll, we'll see what it turns out when I actually get home. What the heck am I doing? Missed my turn. <laughs> Get to talking, that's what happens. That's all right. This will bring me back too. Just have to do a little ducking.
brought the kit of the uh, 1000 cat out here the other day. This is not the snowmobile trail, this is our personal trail to the snowmobile trail, so don't worry about the four wheeler tracks going up there. Um, but yeah. No, I'm glad to be out riding this for sure. Can't believe it's been, uh, I've been riding around the house, but I haven't been on the trails at all, which is crazy. I think last year, probably by this time, I would have had at least, at least 500 to 700 miles. The year before that, I, I probably had, uh, probably would have had 1,500 almost. I did, uh, did like 3,500 miles that year. It was a good year. And the trails weren't even, the, they weren't the best. They weren't bad. They were a bit better than this year, but, but you never know. Maybe, uh, maybe February and March would be good to us, uh, snowmobilers here in Vermont. we find out. Short track does okay. Well, there it is, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, thanks for watching.